Why, hello there. Now, I know what you're all thinking. Candy, why haven't we gotten an update on the books yet? Now, I know, I know, it's here now. Just be patient. But before I get into the meat of this video, I want to address one thing. The books are, in fact, still in progress, and I do not plan on giving up on the project anytime soon. So, if that's all you wanted to hear, that is the news. They are still being worked on. Have a good day. Now, for those of you sticking around and wanting to know what's going on and why it's happening, stick around for the rest of the video. So, a lot has come up recently, and it's got me reconsidering a few decisions with the project as a whole. I've learned a lot over the past two years. I've rewritten the first novel of the series more times than you can count on one hand. I've overhauled most of the established lore of the world so much that even my own avatar doesn't fit the lore and canon of the world anymore. It's not even the same world it was from two years ago, honestly. So much of the story, and even its characters, have been altered beyond recognition at this point. So, what does this all mean? Well, as I've learned more about publishing, writing, world building, etc., something has become abundantly clear. And that is that it's just not ready yet. I'm not even ready yet. Now, what do I mean by all of this, I hear you ask? I mean, I've realized I've bit off far more than I can chew with this project. In fact, I uploaded my first video on the Draconia Chronicles with the expectation that I would be sending that video to friends and family so I didn't have to repeat myself explaining the plot and what I was doing. But then it ended up getting a lot of views and there was a fan base and I never planned to garner a fan base that was excited for the progress and the project as a whole and release date and sadly all that pressure of having all those eyes on me just got the better of me for a while. I started to rush through a lot of the baby steps I needed to take as a new writer. I would skip over important details, toss lore around, and then rush things I didn't have answers for yet, skip other things, all in an effort to get the series done as fast as possible. And in the end, it resulted in multiple rewrites, horrendous burnout, and a lot of major depressive episodes from the stress. I've decided the best thing is to just take a step away from it all, reevaluate what I'm doing, and why I'm doing it. So, while it has been the biggest drag on my life in recent years, so much in fact that I began to dread writing every day and even hating my own characters and the plot and everything I was doing, there is a silver lining to all of this. I've learned. I've learned a lot. Most importantly, I've learned where my limits are and what I want to achieve with this project. And I think that's important for any new writer to understand. I know better now what my goals are and how to get there without pushing myself beyond my limits. So to all of you lovely people who have been rooting for me since day one, and yes, I know who you are, I ask that you don't give up on the project just yet. The book series is coming. I'm just not sure when it'll be ready. So. While I might not have a definite release date, or lore keeps changing, or I decide to rewrite the first novel for the sixth time, I can promise you that I'm not giving up. This project has been a dream of mine for a very long time, and I'm going to see it through, just maybe not in the way that I thought. So what's the plan for the future? Well, this channel, and everything I'm doing, I'm shifting my focus now into content creation. I have a lot of big ideas for this channel, and I'd like to find my footing as a new content creator. While my main focus of my time may not be the books anymore, it does still have a lot of my attention, but I need to be able to support myself first so I can make time to work on the story again. The videos I make on here cost money, time, experience, things like illustration softwares, PC parts, audio files, project help, etc. also all cost money and time. And as the books slowly come together, I'll be needing resources for things like legal help, publishing fees, promotional content, advertising campaigns, etc. And this is where all of you guys come in. Even if you can't afford a Patreon membership or a commission, just watching my videos, commenting, and sharing my content around is more help than I can express. And I really sincerely thank each and every one of you for it. With the support of you guys, a healthier relationship with my work, and a clearer path to the future, I hope that with time, the series will come to fruition in the way that I had envisioned and not rushed through production. 
And for those of you still here, thank you so much for listening. It really means the world to me. And if you want to know how to best support these future projects and the book series when it's time, consider joining my Patreon. Right now it's the best place to see what I've been working on, speak to me directly on projects, and even get some exclusive rewards as a thanks. I hope to have more options in the future, but for now, Patreon is just the best that I have. I hope this video has cleared some things up as to what's going on and explained the situation better. And I hope to see you all in the future. Take care, and remember not to push yourself too far. Thanks again.